Hello guys. You know that uh, chirping noise? It comes in, uh, sounds like a bird. And then when you put your foot on the clutch, just to tap, it goes away. I'll fix this noise by taking uh, off the slave cylinder that pushes here against the clutch fork. And what was actually causing the noise was this clutch fork. If you take this boot off, this rubber boot off, uh, you have a pivot ball on the clutch fork to give it a, a pivot point of movement so that when you engage the clutch this moves this way uh, the slave cylinder pushes the clutch fork this way and it moves on that ball and it was loose so when the clutch was not engaged this the clutch fork was in uh, loose and it was pretty much dry with no not too much grease and it was uh, rocking back and forth creating that chirping sound so what I did is uh, I removed the boot, I put some grease on it slightly so it doesn't none of the grease goes on the actual clutch plate, on the pressure plate, and then just to make sure it's it has some tension, you know, because when you put your foot on the uh, on the gas, it actually gives it quite some tension more than what I have here with this little spring here. So I put a uh, put a bracket, not a bracket. Uh, a hose clamp here and collected a spring that I bought in Home Depot and then I tied it off right over there where there was a hole so I just uh, connected the spring to that hole uh, and then I put some they didn't have anything else to use I put some rubber against this so when it shakes it won't make too much noise I put some zip ties around it uh, but doesn't look that bad, I guess. Uh, the intercooler will go on top, and nobody would even know. And yeah, this should definitely solve the problem. Good luck. <laughs>